Hi there, it's Miss Mason here. Let's learn about the word trunk. Remember in our read aloud, we heard the word trunk. Listen for the word trunk while I read part of the read aloud you just heard earlier. A trunk, oh, you are an animal. This elephant is too. Yes, you are an animal. But you don't have a long trunk like some animals do. A trunk is a body part on an elephant's head that is used to pick up things and spray water. A trunk is a kind of like a long nose. This picture shows an elephant and here is its trunk. What does an elephant do with its trunk? He picks up things, sprays water, and drinks. Does an elephant pick up things with his trunk? Yes or no? Yes, an elephant does pick up things with his trunk. Very good job. The word trunk also means something else. Sometimes we use the word trunk to describe the back of a car. If you go to the grocery store and buy lots of groceries, you would need to put them in the trunk. You might use a key or a button to open up the trunk of your car that, for, so that way you can load your groceries into it. What other kinds of things might you put in the trunk of a car? Maybe something big? So what are the two things that trunk can mean? When we're talking about an elephant, a trunk means its long nose, a part of its body. When we talk about the trunk of a car, that means the back part of the car where you put things. Let's pretend we are an elephant with a trunk. Can you wave a long trunk around like an elephant? Let's pretend we're putting away our groceries away in the trunk of our car. Get out your key. Open up the trunk and load your groceries inside. Put your groceries away, there's lots of them. I have some milk a few bags, I have some eggs, be careful. All right, now close your trunk and go get in your car to drive away. Great job learning all about the word trunk. I will see you next time.